or Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. Either yeah, so they they basically bu busted out a Pokemon now to make more money. When they first announced it, it was just one game. If you buy one game, you can get the other as a download for a reduced cost. Oh, thanks for that. Available on launch day, there will also be a third story path available as an in-game download for Birthright or Conquest owners called Fire Emblem Fates Revelation. Where's it will Monster reveal some cross? juicy secrets about the story that will affect the way you think about it. You're very disappointed. It's as revealing as the name implies, so you'll probably want to save that one for last. A lot of my Treehouse friends are pretty hooked on these games already, so this next package is for folks like them who just have to have it all. Introducing Fire Emblem Fates Special Edition. It includes all three games, Birthright, Conquest, and Revelation, plus an art book. Yeah, and pay more PSSL money, people. Pouch. Fire Emblem Fates will be released on February 19th, 2016. I'm also happy to reveal that even more Fire Emblem no, Fates no. DLC will be available down the road. One new map will be released for free, and after that, six new maps will be available. You can purchase them individually, or starting today, select retailers. You can purchase all of them together for a reduced price as map pack one. The question is, which path will you take? Birthright, Conquest, or all three? The choice is yours, and it affects the gameplay. Let us know which path you choose in the comment section. If they're free. Next up is Mega Man Legacy Collection from Capcom. A celebration of the 8-bit roots of Capcom's iconic Blue Bomber. Power up with dozens of cool weapons in the series and take on the evil genius Dr. Wily and his army of robots gone haywire in this collection of the first six action platformers that started it all. The new museum mode contains a comprehensive collection of production art and original concept sketches. Plus more than 100 Nintendo 3DS. It's Capcom's way of items. telling Inafune, take this. Mega Man in video game history. Yeah, look at There's that. also a fresh new twist on the classic game called the that new Mega Challenger. Man this mode features more than 50 like... stages of remix gameplay areas oh, from like all six games. And plenty of scaling difficulty objectives for both experienced and new players. So retro. Retro Speaking of challenge man. mode, we saved some special news for last. The game comes with 11 Nintendo 3DS exclusive challenges that can be unlocked using the Mega Man Amiibo. But that's not the only Amiibo that can unlock these new challenges. You can also use this brand new gold-colored Mega Man Amiibo, which will be available exclusively in the Mega Man Legacy Collection Collector's Edition. The Mega Man Legacy Collection will be available for Nintendo 3DS digitally via the Nintendo eShop and both the Standard and Collector's Edition versions will be available at retail on February 23rd, 2016. Now let's take a look at a Pokemon game coming to the Nintendo eShop on Nintendo 3DS. I'm not sure what you're expecting, but I doubt it's this. Anyone remember these? Yep, no one That's was right. expecting that. <laughs> Pokemon Red version? They were expecting Pokemon, Pokemon Z version, or something good. Pokemon Yellow version will all be released as digital download titles on Nintendo 3DS. Whether you're reliving fond memories from nearly 20 years ago, or making new ones, we've done what we can to preserve the games exactly as they were. Except... It's like this. Fat you. Game Boy Game Boy game. That's not gonna work on your Nintendo 3DS. So, a new feature has been added to this version, so you can trade and battle Pokemon like it's 1999. You can use the Nintendo 3DS I hope they didn't fix the glitch. To battle and 100, level 150 Mewtwo. <laughs> Pokemon Red version, and missing Pokemon no. Blue version, and Pokemon and Professor Oak as the final champion. The same day as the original the Game final Boy boss. Pokemon launch on February 27th. I hope Let's return to one of my favorite places, the land of Hyrule. Hyrule Warriors was released on Wii U last year. 3DS! Exciting new adventure featuring Zelda characters. Now, yeah. the game is coming to a Nintendo 3DS near you as Hyrule Warriors Legends, and it's bringing some new content. I knew you could play good, but this time, you look like Tetra. Yep. Yeah. He's got other looks. He's got all his looks. And the King of Hyrule what? from Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker will join the Skull Kid from Majora's Mask on the battlefield. <laughs> There's an original character, too, named Winkle. She looks 
quite familiar. Linkle is a girl who lives in a small village filled with cuckoos. She's a dual-wielding crossbow hunter who can take down enemies coming at her from all directions. Her jumpy, energetic nature brings something special. It makes to you her. wonder about that Legend of Zelda Wii U. She'll kick an enemy when they're down without losing her grip on her crossbows. If Link's famous signature move is called a spin attack, maybe we should call Winkles a spin kick. Hyrule Warriors Legends will be released <laughs> on March 25th, 2016. Because it's been For a limited time, an original Nintendo 3DS home menu theme will also be included. <laughs> Our exactly. RPG lineup continues to strengthen on Nintendo 3DS, including games we haven't touched on Guys. today like Bravely Second End Layer coming in spring 2016. There's another series we'd like to discuss today, though, Michael. that Nintendo has been proud to support throughout the years. I'm happy to finally announce that Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, is also coming to Nintendo 3DS in 2016. In this huge RPG, explore the past to uncover the secrets of a much changed world by collecting stone shards and defeating evil along the way. So this is the collage. I played one dragon. Dragon Quest VII Fragments of the Forgotten Past will be released in early summer 2016. Are you recording this? Am I missing something? Fear not. Dragon Quest VIII Journey of the Cursed King will also be released in 2016, so get ready to embark on another epic adventure on your Nintendo 3DS. I know many of you have been waiting for these exciting I didn't think it through. so thank you for your patience. Yep. We've got one more update saved for last, but first, a quick rundown of some Wii U and Nintendo 3DS games coming from our development. Now everybody focus to the last update. Shoot your way through dangerous alien hides with up to three friends or on your own. Wii U exclusive features include a super handy gamepad mini-map, plus amiibo support for compatible figures that unlock bonus challenges and treasures. With Kerbal Space Program, build a spacecraft worthy of journeying to the stars. Get an internal view on the Wii U gamepad and tilt it to steer. Then watch you your ship friend? soar on your TV. <laughs> Just don't kill everyone aboard. In the latest side scroller from KG Inafune, shoot and dash through 12 challenging stages and dozens of missions as the hero back. Face off against your eight mighty brethren and steal their powers to unlock new transformations. You can mighty! Even team up with a friend in the two player online co op challenge, <laughs> or throw down with them in race battle mode. Get ready to Better than a Mega Man more Legacy. Than 100 Marvel characters that have never appeared in a Lego game before, from the superheroes and supervillains of the movies to the classic Avengers characters of the comics. The fight is on. Form teams of classic and current characters from Capcom, Sega, and Bandai Namco games while engaging iconic enemies in strategic turn-based battles. This time, Nintendo is joining the fight with Krom and Lucina from Fire Emblem Awakening and Fiora from Xenoblade Chronicles. Build amazing structures and craft weapons and armor, then wage war on hundreds of enemies and giant bosses. Up to four adventurers can play together locally on Wii U or Nintendo 3DS, and on the Wii U version, up to eight players can inhabit your world online. It is your world, after all. Thanks for watching today. We'll leave you with one final update. I sense a new trailer approaching. What is it? I even want to cry right now. It's the wrong thing. Okay. Okay. This is my Yeah, they put the Terraria right there. Axe right there. Why would that? What? Final Fantasy? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> This is gonna be. You see the tear? No, I'm I'm tearing you up right now. Tear? I'm tearing up right now for sure. Things that you never thought this would happen. That, that. The unimpossible and unimaginable has happened. That's cool. And just to let you know, this isn't one of the ballot characters.
play it. He did the play. He back flipped over. He's like, little man, get out of here. I've been told all I do. Guess what his final smash is? Think of that. I need, I need, I need more. Seven, you're on. 